using the real name of Oliver Twist, John Howard Davis. Play in the third test at Manchester was enlivened by an old Trafford dog, quite a change from the cat at Lord's. It provided the crowd with a lot of amusement and the Australians with some useful fielding practice. But there wasn't much to laugh about when Barnes was injured by a mighty hit from Pollard. Barnes, who was fielding right on the bat, stopped it full in the kidneys. He was obviously in great pain when carried off by the police and accompanied by an anxious Don Bradman. In reply to our total of 363, Morris and Johnson opened for Australia and back from hospital, Barnes insisted on batting again after several wickets had fallen fairly cheaply. From these pictures, you can see how painful his effort was, and after scoring one run, he collapsed again. As Compton and the Don helped him in, the crowd paid a well-earned tribute to a courageous player. England were definitely on top for once, and both Miller and Lindwall resorted to that type of bowling which has given rise to the greatest controversy that cricket has ever known, the bumper. Is the short ball a legitimate part of the fast bowler's art? Well, Edridge apparently didn't like it much, or the crowd. And Washbrook, who made a great 85 not out, wasn't very happy either. Then the weather took a part, and England's chance of victory seemed to be receding. 10,000 people paid to sit in the rain in the hope that something would happen. But very few remained as long as this gentleman to mourn England's bad luck. 